What's up everybody, it's me Kevin Du here. Welcome to another video about my A9A 3D printer and the recent problems I had with it. So yeah, let's get started. So first off, it's printing quite nice. Um, it's printing a folder with stand for my OnePlus One smartphone, aka the one I'm currently recording with. Yeah, the print is fine, there was no issue until now. So yeah, the, the first um, real problem was the CX switch. The problem from the, very, from the very first video with the hysteresis or okay, that is switching on and off at different distances is still persistent. But the problem that recently got worse was that the whole mount, which is mounted in these two slots, which you can see marked by the arrows right now, I'm always moved down by about a tenth of a millimeter when I hold the C-axis, which got worse after or which sums up and completely unlevels the bed. And to avoid this, I've printed myself a new C-axis switch holder, which has one, uh, which has the part which is mounted on the left slot. And the good thing about this mount is that it's mounted at the bottom of the slot, so it cannot move any lower anymore. So then it has the actuator as well as the mount of the C-axis itself. The height can be adjusted with the screw, which you can see here. While printing this C-axis switch holder, another problem showed up. Basically, in mid-print, for no reason, the extruder stopped extruding with a clicking extruder motor. I aborted the print and tried to push filament through manually, which didn't work either. Then I was pretty sure that the nozzle has to be clutched. Yeah, what did, um, what did I do? I basically dismounted the whole extruder and screwed out the nozzle of the heater block. Went outside and with a small gas burner, I know a hot air blower would have been a better choice, but I don't have one, so I just used the gas burner. I heated up the nozzle and with a piece of a wire, I pushed through it and basically what came out was a ball of PLA with dust. So yeah, I knew the cause of the issue. To prevent future clocks, um, I just printed out a new filament guide, which you can see here, and which has this big hole on the top. Yeah, I just cut a piece out of a, of a piece of foam and peeked the filament through and basically what it should do is it should absorb any dust that is coming down with the filament. So moving over to Cura, as you can see, I'm, I'm still using version 14.07, but I plan to do an upgrade to the latest version, I think it's 2.3.1, in the next weeks, or at least try to. Yeah, the settings I want to talk about today is where I had the most problems and this is the retraction. Basically retraction does pull the filament back in when the print head moves over areas where nothing should be extracted. For instance when moving from here to here, nothing should be extracted. Otherwise there will be stringing. So in the advanced settings up there you find the two base parameters of retraction, that's the speed of the extruder motor used at retraction and the distance for how much to retract. Originally this value was 4.5 millimeters, but for some reason um, after the retraction the filament sometimes blocked and did not come out anymore. I don't know whether it was because the nozzle was partially blocked before or just for any other reason. I just lowered the value to 1.5 millimeters and it works fine right now. As of now, sorry. So more retraction settings can be found in the expert settings, which open on the other screen. So here you have the minimum travel, that's the distance the printer has to move from the last retraction to do another retraction. 4 worked fine for all of my models right now. Cost, for instance at this model there's a retraction from this, um, what's called, from this pin out to the main area and then it moves all the way there and retracts again there, on this way here. And this more than 4 millimeters, I probably have to, I have to lower it when there is a special model, but for my models it worked, or the models I used, I'm not afraid of them. 
So coming is something that did not work that well as it should for me because coming should avoid um, um, too many unnecessary retractions. For instance, when moving over an area that gets filled in later anyways. Uh, but the problem was, for no reason, or some reason, I don't know, the top layer was one of these areas and these combing settings um, basically destroyed my beautiful top layer, so it looked ugly. Yeah, minimal extrusion before retracting, that's um, how much filament has to extrude before the next retraction. I think 0.02 millimeters is very low, it's not a problem. And I added a C hop, that's basically the C axis is the C axis height is increased by this amount, which is less than 0.1 millimeter when doing a retraction. I don't know whether it's good or not, but I think it's good for instance on the lowest or the lower layers where uh, when the print does not um, completely stick to the um, to the bed. So um, um, yeah, what I want to talk about. One more thing. Oh yeah, here this fix horrible. Do not use them, or at least that's my recommendation as of now. As I had for some reason this one, the Type A combine, um, enabled, and I disabled it, and it works. So as you can see, the holder came up pretty nice. I have centered the corners because it was scratching my phone, as you can see here. I tested it; it works, but I sadly can't show it because it, I tested it with this phone I'm currently recording with. Uh, yeah. Anyways, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please make sure to hit that like button. If you have any comments or any feedback, leave it in the comment sections below. It's me coming to you. Out.